You're welcome back. Time to see what you have been uh, saying about some of the issues that we've been putting on our social media sites. And the lovely Asha is here to guide us through. And it's beautiful to see the <laughs> lovely Arava this Friday evening. You know how we do it. It's on facebook.com slash news on TV and on Twitter. It's on Joy News on TV. It's a Friday, and I'm sure you're getting ready for the weekend with some energy and excitement. But unfortunately, we're ending the week on a rather undesirable note with the Delta Force attack still fresh on our minds. We were all in shock when the pro-MPP vigilante group broke into the Kumasi Circuit Court premises and freed 13 of their members who were facing prosecution for acts of vandalism. Now, this is indeed troubling. Question, what do you make of the situation? The issue of Delta forces and even all the, uh, what do they call it, these uh, security agencies that the political parties engage them during campaign, and subsequently after elections what transpires is not the best for our democracy as a growing democracy i think that it is not proper for such things to happen and i think that the only thing that needs to be done is for the president nanado dankwakufuado to take the bull by the horn mm -hmm. and then crack the whip when the person is wrong, yes, he is wrong. Let the law take its course. Let no political figure sit somewhere and say, okay, these are my boys, let's handle them uh, the way a, a, a political party group should be handled. No. It's not good for them to enter offices and do anything like that. But government is supposed to stand on it. Maybe they want to put another thing on it, maybe to put politics on the system, and which is not good in that way. You see, they are not, uh, they are not uh, putting them to that side to do that kind of thing. So by that, government is supposed to stand to know why this thing is going on this way, so that they can tackle the system before it is too, too much like that. So Seriously, it's not something that we should be happy about. And I think someone should be used as an escape goat. Because if you arrest them and then you don't penalize anyone, I don't think it's the right thing, but if someone is being arrested and being punished, I think it will serve as an example for the others to, I mean, back off. I think this data group uh, or this group of vigilantes should be stopped because each and every uh, party has those uh, vigilante groups. So if the government can stop all these things, uh, I think it will help the country because uh, we have, uh, I can see the uh, Boko Haram people, that's how it started, like a small group and it started growing. So if we can stop all these things, I think it will help the, Ghana, uh, the country to grow. So very interesting comments coming from the streets. A lot of people are furious about the Delta forces, but government is assuring us that something definitely will be done about this. A lot more comments are on Facebook, Karaba. Yes, indeed. Our good friend Kwesi Boating Ayipa writes, uh, those hooligans who call themselves Delta Force should not think they were the only people who voted for NPP. Some of us directly or indirectly have equally told for the NPP to see the party in power. Now because of their radical, violent and uncivilized behavior, Everybody is blaming the president and laughing at MPP. Some of us can't even talk again, unfortunately. <laughs> now, Nana Kojo Bring Pong Boateng says, It's really a shame that as a country, we should be faced with these acts of lawlessness. And as much as it is wrong, I am more disappointed at the way those hypocrites in NDC are calling for the head of our president. And I want them to, as you say, shut up. We were all in this country when uh, the Munti A3 guys who threatened the lives of four judges and chief justice were given a pardon and set free by a president. Indeed, that is so, but uh, the two cannot be compared. The Munche threatened they didn't go as far as actually storming a court and, uh, you know, visiting the mayhem there. Hedora Mystical Brahma writes, this lawlessness by these hooligans can't be tolerated anymore. If the security agencies can't do anything about it, we the citizens, not spectators, will do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> you didn't get any place to attack than the custodians of the law, you've gone too far with this singular action of yours. And Bambakia Samed writes, Ghana is becoming a lawless country since we've gotten to a point where the heart of the judiciary is undermined. The comments of the Muntia 3 about the judges is still fresh in the minds of the public. Then again, the Delta Force. If the current government 
uh, does not put aside the politics and deal with these hooligans once and for all, we are likely to see worse attacks than this. And I think I agree with you. Well, also, talk less of depression because that is the theme for this year's World Health Day, which happens to be today. Depression has been found to be the leading cause of ill health and disability worldwide, with more than 300 million people living with that condition. This is a wake-up call. So if you feel depressed, you may want to seek help from a professional. The question I want to ask, what do you think accounts for depression and how, in your opinion, should it be handled? I think depression has to do with um, you feeling that kind of um, lonely, a bit um, disconnected from from the world. You know, you become so lonely because of certain pressures. Probably it could be it could be financial, it could be educational, it could be it could even be relationship. And then I think um, going forward, what we need to do, we need to have more um, counselors, and even in universities, and then. Um, um, even in all in all aspects or everywhere, so that people people can go in at any point in time and then seek to even at workplaces in the banks and all that with the pressure and all going on, they should have special counselors who would even talk to them and then you know cool down and all that. And then people should be open to a lot of friends as well because one, one problem shared yeah, one problem shared is um, a problem solved. Um, the way to handle depression is to talk to people, to talk to others about your problem, that you get them out of you. Or you go out, you hang out with friends, and you become free at least. When you stay indoors, it weighs down on you, and then you can commit suicide, you can't control yourself, and then you go out of hand. You will be down, but life still has to go on. So whatever is holding you, you have to forget and think about your life and know that there are some better days ahead. So you have to forget everything and move on. So depressing, in fact, it's very painful for one to be in depressing. It's very painful. But you must also know that your life values more than anything, more than the word depressing itself. So you have to handle everything for the value of your life. Yeah, that's how I managed to control my own. If I, 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 I remember this thing, I'll just take a book to read or something to read or something to do, which will make me forget those type of things. Uh -huh. Because if you are sitting there and when you are thinking, you still remember those things and you'll be wondering and you'll be what? Either to go and kill yourself or do something, but uh -huh. so you just do something uh -huh. and that you remember, you forget those things, that's all. Uh, but this is a very interesting issue and, and very worrying as well uh, because a lot of people are depressed, you know that, especially in Ghana. And, and no wonder recently we've seen a lot of uh, seaside uh, missions and all of that. It's, it's a serious issue, I think. Um, probably because of the institutions we have. For mm. instance, we have mm. just the psychiatric mm. hospital mm. Yeah. and uh, where... So if well, you have a You know, we problem. spoke to Dr. Kwesi Ose uh, of the Ghana, uh, the Mental Health Authority, earlier, and he said that a lot of people are depressed, or they can be classified as depressed. Definitely. And, but they would not want to go to institutions the, like the Accra Psychiatric Hospital, where exactly. everybody would think that exactly. you are mad. Because of the stigma I, I attached to it. I think if there's a more uh, a nicer place where... It's a bit flexible for people to go and, exactly. and it will be confidential. I think that people would patronize a lot and probably we will have less depression yes. because they'll have people to talk to. They'll talk to professionals who will give them some um, ideas on how to deal with it. Let's check what you've been saying on Facebook. All right. Demi Dear Simon says, uh, depression is normally marked by profound feelings of sadness and loneliness in reaction to something bad that happened over a period of time, voicing it out and discussing the problem with friends and relatives, etc., helps. And uh, Anaman Respe uh, writes, depression is extreme sadness, for which, uh, which can last for two weeks and beyond. The depression can be handled if the root cause of that extreme sadness is identified and addressed. 
Depression, if it is not handled properly, may lead to serious mental problems and in extreme cases lead to suicide. That's so true, Anaman. Now, Hadora Mystical Brahma writes, Depression is a state of low mood and aversion to activity that can affect a person's thoughts, behavior, feelings, and a sense of well-being. Why do I get the sense that this was picked from, <laughs> 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 from Wikipedia? Oh. Well, anyway... That's just on the lighter side. But he says people with a depressed mood can feel sad and empty and all the like. And uh, depressed mood may not require professional treatment and may be a normal temporary reaction to life events, a symptom of some medical condition or a side effect of some drugs or medical treatments. Yeah. So those are some of the comments yeah, that, that are coming true. through. But if, if it lasts more than a day or two, then I'm sure you may want to uh, seek professional help. Finally, if you think the days of riddles are over, then you're definitely wrong because today we'll be going the riddle way. So relax and enjoy because I have four riddles for you and I want you to give it a try and tell us what you think the answers are. So which word in the dictionary is spelled incorrectly? And what has four fingers and a thumb, but it's not a living thing. The third one, I can only live where there is light, but I die if the light shines on me. Who I am, who am I? And the fourth one, give me food and I'll leave. Give me water and I'll die. Who am I? Let's check it out on the street. Okay. Which word in the dictionary is spelled incorrectly? Judgment. judgment. Yeah. Why, why judgment? Because some make the E come before the G, and I think they don't spell it correctly. Incorrectly should be the word. What has four fingers and a thumb, but it's not living? Four fingers and a limp. And, and, a, thumb. and a thumb. Four fingers and a thumb, but it's not living. I have no idea. <laughs> four fingers and a thumb, and it's not living. No. Four fingers and a thumb, but it's not living. Um, is it a glove? I can only live where there's light, but I die if the light shines on me. What am I? No idea. <laughs> the last one. Give me food and I will live. Give me water and I will die. What am I? Let's do this again. Let me go and then <laughs> research and come back. I have no idea. Frank. Uh, food and I'll leave. Water and I'll die. Um, wow. Well, I give up on that one. <laughs> I've seen some very interesting comments on Facebook. I can't wait to read them. Uh, but let's check the first one. The first one, <laughs> Augustine Yeredemi. I, I hope I, I, I pronounce your name well. He says, those who came to look for the answers in the comments, how be market? <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have the answers. But by a Jeremiah has some correct answers. And the first uh, um, riddle, with, and the question was, uh, which word is spelled incorrectly in the dictionary? He got that correct. That is incorrectly. Uh, B was uh, in the uh, darkness I thrive okay. and in the light I die. Yeah. That's a shadow. You got that correct as well. And then, um, which one was? He says C is glove. Which okay. Was the question so C? he actually exchanged. Okay. So um, I don't know how he. What was the answer okay, for the glove? Okay, that's fine. The second one is actually the glove. So I think he changed. What was the question B. for the second one? The glove is uh, who has um, four fingers. And a thumb, okay. but it's not a living thing. Okay. It's a glove. It's yeah, a glove. that's true. Okay. Okay. And then D, he says salt. The, salt. Yeah. The the question well, was uh, the D. The question was um, you give me food, I'll live, live and give and me then water, I will I'll die. die. Okay. A I lot think, of people think, think it's salt, fire, but fire, fire would suffice <laughs> more. Yes. And so, <laughs> so he says these questions are more than a YAC <laughs> entrance examination. Okay, so Bar Makuba Jijinjini also got A correct, incorrect, uh, B, the hand gloves correct, C, shadow, and uh, D, Inchine. Inchine, okay. Inchine. It's mm -hmm. not actually what exactly. we're looking for. I think it's fire is more 
and properly. last one, Robert Jacka says, Israel, I can only help us, so we can't think far. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Israel is not here to help and you. And Quincy says, he's given us more than we Invisible asked for. Invisible voice. <laughs> okay, so he, he added E, F, G, and he says, okay, he says Delta Force, Invisible Force, Azoka, Baba Force. Oh, come on. Interesting. So, but we okay, need to tell them so what the answer for four was, because a lot of people got that wrong. I think it's fire. It's fire. Fire. All right. All right. So let's check the word of the week. Ephemeral. Well, I'm new to this word. With, with this yeah. kind of uh, word, I don't want to conflate myself. Uh, um, short or short lasting. Our word for the week is ephemeral. Ephemeral is spelled E P. H E M E R A L Ephemeral. It means lasting for a very short time. In other words, something short lived, transitory, or fleeting. It can be used to describe insects or plants which live for a short period of time. An example of ephemeral in a sentence is Some politicians sometimes forget that their time in office is ephemeral. And on that ephemeral note, <laughs> we end the interactive segment. My name is Aisha Brian. Don't forget, it's a Friday. Don't miss out the fan. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.